Hallo, welkom back. Today we're going to finally test the dual stage venturi combustor in the inbird gasifier. This is the one which is now made with um, the USSR perfect uh, improvement hard for inbird, which is easily replaceable and have its own grade. And underneath there is uh, the normal grade, which can be activated to this thing. This pipe here, you can wiggle it, and the air nozzles around there are not used anymore. There's still some ash in there and stuff. Inside there will be placed this burner with the threads, so I can adjust the exact midpoint. And with this plumbing stuff, it's a half inch to half inch with a nut on the end with glue and on the lathe I increased the diameter so this 15 millimeter copper pipe fits through it and now with two compression fittings one on the this end and one here so I can adjust the adjust it so it's in the middle then screw the threads on to adjust it right above the grate and the height is around 150 millimeters underneath of the combustor and the upper edge of the heart restrictor so let's put it all together and light it on fire and there we go it's inside I tuned it pretty well that it's nice in the middle. You can see the edge of the thing from both of the three sides, so it's fairly in the middle. You can adjust the threads in and out, and you can adjust the angle of this thing and the position of the pipe. Everything's tied down now. I can just add a centiliter to here. First, I added to here, of course, and then we added to here. And let's fill it up with some charcoal until the edge of the smallest restriction where we ignite it and then see how it does. And there we go, it's filled with charcoal. Oh, you can't see shit now. And now I will fill it up until, uh, yeah, here, ha halfway. So we can start it and see what the thing does. It has plenty of room around it. And these are the leftovers of the previously filtered small, or the also called as fines, in the wood chips of this particular series. The big stuff like 40, 15 to 40 or 50 millimeters. And this is from like 10 to 25, 3 centimeters. And all the fines, which is up to 2.5 centimeters or so. Uh, we're, we're already used by the small gasifier with the true combustor because this pipe is really small and it only uh, worked well so more or less you have to hammer it every few bits even with the small stuff now I'm gonna check the medium stuff I believe the big stuff might be still a little bit too much although it's just from the from this small mount there's another one coming along, it's already fairly dry, it was 90% for a week or so. It's all still raw, so it's uh, from dust up to the sticks. And there's some sticks in here. But it dries, it's already fairly dry. That week it was fresh. It takes this thing about one week to dry it in this particular weather conditions it most of the time it does two weeks whenever it's cloudy and stuff like the weeks before that with this series and I already uh, this series I did extract the fines you see everything is still in there but hey let's heal it up and see what it does and we're back, ready to start up. Uh, the blower is in suction mode now. 
just for the little moment to it to to get smoke out of it then I can place it in uh, positive pressure mode and uh, blow the stuff in it let's see how long this takes Mission takes pretty long. Most of the time, it already uh, smokes a lot. But hey, maybe we're gonna m m m melt this one down. <laughs> The solution I think will work is uh, filling the thing with sticks and then burning the sticks till they throw in and throw in out. Here we go. Now we're gonna throw another more in there and keep doing this until smoke's coming out of the gas pipe. Yeah, dang it, you think? I have made, should have made this thing bigger. There we go. Smoke coming out, that's good. Although I want to burn, throw in some more sticks. One moment. There we go. Make some smoke. It's not lighting on fire yet, but hey. Smoke is not, smoke is not that thick. But it is warm. Hmm. Let's try some more of those sticks. And finally, it worked. It's now on for an hour or so, and the tar is like nothing. I don't know what you can actually can see, but I can see only a little water vaporish kind of a thing. Can increase the flow a bit. Let's decrease the flow a bit. Let's see, uh, have a look at the flame. <laughs> Interesting. And now open it, light it, and then the product gas are coming from the. And when we open this thing, it's being sucked inside, and then it's going to be clouded, of course, because this is here and it's. It's burning in the combustor now. Let's put this thing tough on fire. There's the oscillation going on. Interesting. I close the air now so I can close the lid properly. Put the air on again and then the flame should uh, should appear again. It's been off uh, for a little bit. And the tar is just minuscule. Like almost nothing. There's a little tiny bitty 
yellowish in there but I'm not sure if that's due to the moisture because if you can see the camera, I can't see the camera that much let's slow it down a bit you can see the flame better Oh, you slow it down, it doesn't want it. Well, let's wait a bit and see uh, if it's stable. And after refueling, still the same, super low tar gas. Now, let's burn. So, uh, 10 minutes later, still very low tar gas, although it's a little bit more now, but it's very low, still. So let's let it run. Oh, I might have to say, I need, I know with the flow meter over there, I can't do that now, it's way too hot, that the... Uh, maximum draw of this of, of, the, of that one is like 10 meters per second this is like uh, higher than i've seen so and i measured only about 18 meter uh, cubic meters an hour so let me uh, dial this down a bit no wait a second yes yes this one let's dial it down a bit the flame is only burning inside the yeah, it's quite a big thing. Let's make it swirl a little bit like this, like it makes one rotation now. And now, wait, this is about 15 cubic meters an hour, if I remember correctly. When it's just 10, 8 to 10 centimeters above the thing. And the other one is. Uh, yeah, just one or two centimeters about above the cyclone burning. Turn the fan full throttle. The tar is still low, although it's not absent. 60 volts now. It's one and a half amps, so that's 90 watts. And this is uh, oh wow, it, it, it comes out to 40 meters. I bet this is over 20. I mean 20 cubic meters an hour. Let's sustain this for a bit and uh, see how it works out. This is like 30 or 40 square, square meters an hour I believe. Holy crap, this thing is going to blast. <coughs> it's uh, just a light yellow only from the eye and a lot of purple. So that's still fairly low gas in comparison to the normal invert gasifier star content, let's say. So, but this is uh, very much. This is never going to be used by the generator. Let's dive down a bit. Yeah, like this way, it fills the barrel nicely. This is about uh, 15 square meters again. Or at least less than half. Oh shit, look at it. Bump. It goes around now like two times instead of one. Or maybe two and a half. Whatever, dive it down. And wait with this different intensity how it adjusts itself. 50 meters, square meters per hour, very low tar, and oscillations have picked, picked up. It's a little slower now. You know. Interesting. That's a little bit more oscillations than the smaller one. But I bet it when you make it bigger, it could be bigger. Pretty low tar at about 10, 
15 meters a second, uh, I mean an hour, square meters an hour.